Barbara Liss here, Montana Bliss Artworks, and today I'm going to unmold some hands that I molded of my own hand using Elginet, which is a one-time molding product. So I have eight, and we'll see how they turned out. So I did these December 30th. And it is still dripping wet. And that's why they've been in the mold so long because the wetness doesn't allow the concrete to set up. And that makes the fingers um, very fragile because they're not hardened enough. So you can see this, see how gooey this is. And I didn't really seal the top at all. I just laid something across the top, but not really sealing it. I'm going to cut this away a little so I'm not pulling on it. I do leave this excess on because it's what I use to set it into um, the concrete sculpture. Move a little bit of separation between the fingers. But you can see the fingernails. really lovely and really lovely length in here which I really have what kind of container height is ideal and just to give you um, a comparison this is how high this one is so keeping my fingers a little bit off the bottom and your um, alginate, when you fill it, it's only about three quarters because when you put your hand in, it all comes up. So, um, you know, you can't, you can't fill that. So that's the height of that. And this is what normal pictures look like. And you see what happens. You have very little wrist in those. So finding these are great because they're narrow and tall. This one gave me a little fit. I don't know why, but it was a lovely hand. This one came out easy, but it was a bad hand. Thanks for watching Barbara Liss, Montana Bliss Artworks.